In right field tests, no units reduce takeoff runs 30 to 60 percent. Small bomb-like tanks attached to wings of fuselage are filled with a solid propellant, including oxygen. The JATO units, from jet-assisted takeoff, are ignited by electric current. Generated gases escaping through a rear nozzle create a forward thrust equivalent to about 330 horsepower. Jet units may be dropped after takeoff, leaving the plane full advantage of its streamlines. Originated by the Air Force, JATO units are now in use on carrier-based aircraft and flying boats. left marks on every German city. Mainz, a center of bomb damage with destruction of rail rotation and marshalling yard. The electric power plant was also knocked out. The Nazi ordnance depot was leveled. One of Germany's oldest, most historic cities, the Rhine port of Worms, fell the full force of Allied air power. The Worms Cathedral, built in the 12th century, still stands in the midst of rubble and destruction. The principal industry was leather tanning and manufacturing. Worms was a railroad transport center of some importance, with a main line junction and railway repair shops. Chemical and engineering works, grain storage plants and flour mills were secondary industries. Amid the devastation they had brought to their own cities, Germans were giving up by the thousands, faster than Allied troops could take their arms. All over Europe during April, scenes like these were the prelude to unconditional surrender. This German Arado 234 jet-propelled plane was captured intact after a belly landing. It's a single-place high-wing monoplane powered by two jet units slung under the wing. The large cockpit forms the front of the fuselage and affords good visibility. Unconventional in layout, it's crowded with equipment. Jet unit throttle controls have three positions, full power, idling, and cutout. Engine parts are pointed out on the dismounted starboard unit. Intake, engine, compressor, combustion chamber, turbine, and exhaust. It develops 2,000 pounds thrust at sea level. Fuel supply allows for about one hour in the air at full performance. A parachute tail brake is used to shorten the landing run. The chute, which can be released or jettisoned from the cockpit, is carried in a light metal case. When the hinged doors are opened, springs eject the chute from the box. The basket weave chute is semi-resistant. With Germany's surrender, the Allies possess all plans of German military developments. Now, knowledge of every German mechanism will be revealed. <music> Thoroughness of 12th and 15th Air Force strikes is shown by bomb damage at Bologna, railhead of the Po Valley. Center of arterial supply lines sustaining enemy activities to the south, Bologna was long an important air objective. These air views of the city were taken in April, 10 days before the Nazis surrendered. Air strategy was to destroy bridges spanning the Po 
and force the Germans to ferry men and supplies across the river or transport them along coastal water lanes. The success of this operation greatly reduced Bologna's usefulness. In conjunction with the plan to keep all bridges down, key railroad lines north of the river were also subjected to heavy attacks. Shattering these rail yards kept the Nazis from moving troops to an ever-shifting, flexible front. Advantages gained through these airstrikes enabled 5th Army troops to advance freely on Bologna. With the capture of this city, German resistance all along the Italian front quickly disintegrated and complete victory followed. On April 12th, the B-17 crash landed at its base at Lucera in southern Italy. Returning from a mission with one engine shot out and another running wild, the fort jumped the runway and crashed into five parked C-47s. The bomber and two of the transports burned, two more of the cargo planes were partially burned, and the fifth was badly damaged. members of the bomber escaped, although three were seriously injured. Three crew chiefs who were in their transports at the time of the crash were killed. Many base 10th Air Force Mitchells hit Kokogan in the path of the British advance on Rangoon. The 12 B-25s bombed in clear weather from 5,800 feet. Kokogan was a small Jap replacement center for troops fighting in and around Taungu. 50% of the bombs fell in the target area. On April 19th and 20th, the Mitchells hit Town Goo on the main line of the Mandalay Rangoon Railway. Frags were dropped from 2,700 feet, starting many fires in the Jap Troop and Stores area, most important in central Burma. Town Goo was taken three days after this raid, in which 90 to 95 percent of the bombs landed on target. On April 23rd, Nyang Laban, 75 miles north of Rangoon, was bombed. Young Laban was an important troop and stores area for the Jap Central Burma Army. From 5,500 feet, the 25s dropped lightweight frags and general purpose bombs, 70% of which covered the target area. On April 24th, the Fenny based Mitchell struck Ingon, dropping 528 hundred pound general purpose bombs on the Jap stores area. On May 2nd, the British entered Rangoon, and the bitter 12 months campaign for Burma was virtually ended, although it was estimated 30,000 Japs remained to be mopped up throughout the country. On March 27th, the lone 16th Air Force Mitchell raided a Jap-held area near Guilin, former $70 million base of the 14th Air Force. The B-25 made several runs, strafing and dropping general purpose bombs and parafrags. There was no fighter escort or enemy opposition.
In the Philippines, technical air intelligence finds much to inspect in Jap aircraft captured at Clark Field. Details of a Dyna 3 reconnaissance plane are noted by a tech air intelligence crew with a Nisei sergeant translating markings. Dyna 3 is the only Jap plane whose enlarged nacelles protrude beyond the trailing edge of the wing, like our A-20, A-26, or B-25. It's the only plane used by both Jap Army and Navy. Speed upwards of 395 miles an hour make it one of the fastest twin-engine planes in the world. While the plane's measurements are taken, draftsmen plot the dimensions and make sketches. A Jap George in need of a new main wing spar. The George is the most heavily armed Jap fighter yet encountered. Tony, the only Jap inline fighter with armor for the pilot. Two Nicks, one at right is a night fighter, cannon fires over the pilot's head. The other Nick is a standard twin engine fighter. Betty, prominent versatile twin engine medium bomber. Irving, twin engine reconnaissance and night fighter. Oscar, a light and maneuverable fighter used chiefly in the Burma-India theater. Lily, twin engine dive bomber, but more important as a reconnaissance plane. Zeke, well-known Mitsubishi Navy fighter, star performer, but highly vulnerable. Here, a wing tip is replaced. Tojo, Jap Navy fighter, whose wings resemble a P-47. Although it lacks effective armor and explodes readily when hit, Tojo is a very dangerous fighter. This Frank, a new army fighter, was encountered in numbers during the Philippine campaign. Powerful engine requires a four-bladed prop and gives Frank a more prominent nose than most Jap fighters. With a new engine installed, this Frank gets a thorough test flight. Captured Jap aircraft is giving our air intelligence first-hand knowledge and performance and providing air engineers with study that makes them doubly sure we can outproduce and outperform the best Japan has to offer. On Luzon, a briefing is held on the day's action for taking a hill. Artillery smoke shells are to mark Jap positions for planes. A-20s are to blast enemy pillboxes and gun emplacements to soften them up for the infantry. adjacent hill, observers watch the air attack and radio results and corrections to a command post which relays the information to the pilots. Too much south of the hill. If you can move the uh, bomb up more, it'll be better. Uh, this one was right on the ball. He was right on the ball. He was super scraping effective and the two bombs were right on top. Two bombs were right on top. They're flying an azimuth of about... Ha <laughs> ha! 
Just coming right over. The A-20 show deadly versatility, strafing, dropping general purpose bombs, propaganda leaflets, and firebombs. Potent persuasives in coaxing the enemy out. Outstanding example of air ground coordination, this kind of daily action is taking the Philippines hill by hill. We'll take every section of Jap-held territory that's necessary to finish the fight in the Pacific.